Hey there, Skeptical Root. Trying something new today. I'm going to do a short series of videos, two or three, probably three, on the political spectrum, the right and the left, and why it seems like in all cases we everything devolves into this left and right dichotomy of ideas. Jonathan Haidt, in one of his books, I don't which one, uh, had talked about how he had he sees the the left favoring collectivism and the right favoring individualism. And I, of course, thought to myself, why is that? Why is there this left-right dichotomy in individualism and in collectivism? And I think when we look back at evolutionarily where that would have come from, I think I have an answer. And I think it comes down to error propensity. People on the left, who I'm going to talk about today, have a tendency to make more type 1 errors. People on the right tend to make more type 2 errors, or false negatives. An example is the, the classic example is the tiger in the bush. If you hear a rustling in the bushes and you assume it's a tiger, and you run away, you've made a false positive if there's no tiger in the bush. However, if you don't run away when you hear rustling in the bushes and it is a tiger and it eats you, you've made a false negative. You assumed that it was not something that it actually was. People on the left tend to make more, they tend to favor false positives. People on the right tend to favor false negatives. I'll explain to in probably the third video, any contradictions that may have come up in this uh, and how you can look at this demographically and how it breaks out. You can actually see this kind of breakdown in society as a whole. Type 1 errors tend to cause people to assume agency when there isn't any or to value agency even if there isn't agency involved. Uh, people on the who make type one errors, the people on the left, tend to try to make more informed decisions, but they're not necessarily as picky, if you will, about sources. They tend to prefer sources that are subjective, that are personal experiences, and they tend to give authority to those voices that have personal experience with this type of stuff. Um, in the tiger example, if there is someone who says, you know it's a tiger when you hear the branches breaking on the ground, because I mean when you hear the weight of the tiger stomping on or breaking the branches. They're, they'll take that information as authoritative, whether or not this person has ever actually survived a tiger attack or been around a tiger attack or any of that stuff. Because he's reporting a subjective experience, which again goes back to this assumption of agency. Um but this assumption of agency does have some positives. It, it tends to favor ideas like social welfare, you know, prison rehabilitation, uh, support for, for emotional and physical needs for people, uh, more collectivist types of, of institutions. Uh, they tend to readily form groups around ideas. Hey, we all share this common idea. Let's all get together and be part of this larger group. Um, this is this larger idea. Let's, let's pull our resources together and and have this 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 thing, if you will. Um, they tend to stand up for people who are oppressed or who are minorities or who are marginalized because they they feel like these people have agency and they, they, they know that their subjective experiences uh, can be told or whatever. And so they, they intervene on behalf of these other agents, whether they, they, they assume the worst, if you will, they assume the person's agency and, and they try to concern themselves with the well-being of that person. Now, the further left you go with this, the further into this false 
positive you go, you run into problems with the institutions and groups that are formed around these things start to have their own agency. You have uh, the patriarchy, for example. The patriarchy is not a patriarchy, which would be a society run by fathers, but this nebulous entity which imposes patriarchal values onto individuals or groups of individuals or groups, again, these other groups having their own agency, uh, to a certain end. It is, patriarchy is a thing. It is a thing with agency. It is a thing that, that drives people towards an end. Which is why racism is another example. Racism has to be institutional. It has to be this large menacing, it has to be this meaning, this thing with agency, this thing that, that, that can take action against people that can instruct and inform the world around it in certain ways. It can, it's not an, a racist individual. It has to be a racist institution. It has to be that this system oppresses, it takes this action that agency offers and uses it somehow. And I'll say this, this is maybe the most controversial part of this entire video. Religion is a false positive. God and gods and the social systems built around it are all false positive. They're all part of the left. Which is why you see things, and you hear people say it all the time, sometimes half-joking, sometimes perfectly seriously, that things like feminism is a religion. And frankly, it's not that far off. The, the way that, that this type of error works is that it totally lends itself to elevating feminism itself and the ideas of feminism into these great nebulous things that, that can't be well understood but ex that must exist because of how we've used our circular reasoning to define them. Religion is leftism. And even with these other organizations you see, like, you know, with, with communism, and I go back to feminism, but you see groups like Black Lives Matter and, and these other things, they have all of the aspects of religion involved. There are sacred things, there are profane things and profane ideas and apostates and hypocrisy and all of the the things that roll into this ideology and you are with us or against us all this you must be part of the larger group this larger living structure or you don't belong at all you're wrong if you agree with 99% of what we believe in but not our core tenant then you're, you're cast out. This becomes a problem, of course, when you look at things like Islam, which are extremely patriarchal and oppressive to agents, but we'll get into that too. It's because of that, it is also why the left, and particularly the further left you go, there is more and more defense of Islam and other religious groups and other religious people because they fall into these groups these groups have agency and you cannot deny the agency of these groups but that's it for now that's that's my take on the left next step will be my take on the right and then covering objections like things about religion uh, coming in the third video which kind of will tie it all together with more charts and graphs so that's it for now. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two. That may come immediately on the heels of this one, but who knows? Goodbye and hello. As always. It doesn't.